Good morning. <clears throat> Doing my uh, invites of people. Hello, Rob Stein. And Erica Seven. That means it says, hey, Grandpa, which means Addison and Lucas and Scarlett are there. Good morning. It's Grandpa. I'm inside the computer. Really small. I'm inside the computer. Julia, good morning. My daughter, Julia. Have you brushed your teeth yet this morning, sweetheart? I have. Uh, I haven't showered, but I brushed my teeth. Good morning. We have a special guest with us today. It's, oops, I squeezed him too hard. It's uh, Luke, um, not Lucas, it's um, Wrigley, whose breath is terrible this morning. He's joined me because we're reading a book today uh, about a dog. It's called um, If Every Day Was a Daisy Day. Tom and Laura, good morning. I would uh, enjoy hot chocolate and cookies, but today is my first day on an Herbalife shake to try to drop those dreaded 40 pounds I've been trying to lose. Um, for years, for years, it's the same 40. Underneath this 230 pound body, I weigh 190 pounds. It's the uh, extra 40 pounds I can't lose. So uh, I guess today's commercial is uh, that my daughter, Erica Sivan Dodge, is a Herbalife um, guru or something, manager. Uh, and today is my first day I had a carrot cake shake. But anyhow, back to the, uh, the real mission, which is keeping everybody entertained um, and the children out of your hair. Good morning, Catherine. My wife just sent me two big hearts. Um, so today is day six of the reading. Uh, I was going to take weekends off, but you know what? Um, the little corona situation doesn't take weekends off, so I'm not taking them off either. Um, so I'll um, be on today reading If Every Day Was a Daisy Day. And then tomorrow, I'm going to read El Corre Caminos, which means the Road Runners which I alluded to yesterday, and we'll read tomorrow. And then I think Monday, we're gonna go to um, Carly Gonzalez's book, which is called, <clears throat> I can never think of it. If I have a song to sing, something. I'm sorry, Carly, don't remember the name. Anyhow, uh, back to the mission at hand, and this is uh, reading about Daisy. Daisy is a rescue dog. Uh, owned by Sandy Herndon of Lunenburg or Fitchburg or somewhere. Um, and uh, she has six King Charles Cavalier Spaniels. Um, Daisy is, I would say, the leader of the brood. And she um, is a... Um, I can't do this on Saturday mornings. I can't even think. She's a... Uh, companion dog. So when uh, fire people, fire personnel, uh, police personnel, college students, um, elderly people need some, oh, she's from Ashburnham, Katie, thank you, um, need some support and love and companionship like Wrigley gives to me, uh, Daisy comes and uh, offers support. I would say during this uh, special time in our history where we all need some support, we could all use a daisy. Uh, there's only so many to go to go around, but you can certainly find companionship in other ways, um, some just support so that uh, you know you're not alone and uh, we love you and we care about you and it might be a little bit scary time, but uh, there's people here you can talk to and can offer you support. Um, so just reach out to them. I'm going to offer this. Reach out to me um, if you just need somebody to talk to. Uh, there's a lot of people who know me who think that maybe I'm not the best person to talk to. But if you if you dig beneath the, the funny Todd, the crazy Todd, um, I have some good advice too. I would say don't take all my advice because some of it is just crazy but you can take some of my advice. Here's what I would say. Um, take my good advice, but not my bad advice, 
okay? One thing before I get started, I have a special hello. I feel like I'm Miss Jean from Romper Room looking into my magic mirror. I have a special hello to my friend Hudson. Uh, Hudson, I believe, is in Ohio today. Um, he's just a wonderful young man. And uh, I know his mom, Stacy, and his other mom, who I don't know her name, but maybe Stacy will, uh, will let me know what the name is so I can reach out to um, Hudson's other mom, too. So here, let's get started. I'll wait for uh, Stacy to type me, and then um, let's get started. All right? Stacy, Stacy. Okay, if every day was a daisy day, by Todd Sivan, and uh, illustrated by Eva Anziano. Um, Anita is Hudson's other mom, so hi, Anita. Eva Anziano is a an artist I use, and she's from Poland. Um, she has two children. She's a wonderful artist. So currently, I have um, artists doing work for me from the U.S. I have several artists. I have one from Canada, Jenna, and I have um, Eva from Poland. So our little publishing company has become pretty worldwide. Uh, I don't know where I find these talented people, but I'm blessed to have them on our team. Uh, and Wrigley is a dachshund. He's from Germany. Okay, get ready. If every day was a daisy day. Hi, Bernadette. <clears throat> uh, the book is dedicated in loving memory of my mom, who continues to inspire me every day. It is because of her that I have decided to do dog therapy with Daisy and to my dad, you are my superhero. I just thought of something before we get started. <clears throat> Does everybody know Wrigley knows how to sing happy birthday? Okay. Today's birthday is Jay Boucher's wife, Erica. Okay. She was born today. Uh, and so Wrigley and I are going to sing a quick happy birthday to her. Okay. You ready? Ready, Rig? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Erica. Come on, you do better than that. Happy birthday. To you. He does much better than that normally. Okay, ready? Okay, let's go. There's a saying I heard quite long ago. I recall it oh so well. It may have been a foreshadow of the story I'm about to tell. Hi, Denise. Hi, Lucas. Hi, Emerson. Dogs have a way of finding those who are feeling hurt or sad and fill an emptiness inside we didn't know we had. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel hails from Britain's highest royalty. Combining gentleness and an athlete's traits with grace and a sense of loyalty. Destined to be a therapy dog who we've come to love like crazy has a sense of calm unparalleled and the flowery name of Daisy. Some say she's like a love sponge, soaks up everyone's devotion. There's not a dog more sensitive to everyone's emotion. I've been told I don't show the pictures enough. Everybody's a critic. Hi, Heather McGuire, one of my favorite people all time. Hi, Corey Ward, I love you. <clears throat> She's friendly and so confident, loves everyone she meets. When a student joins the room, they're the first one Daisy greets. Might change her name to Doc Daisy as she seems to diagnose each slightly stressed out person who needs her touch the most. Once witnessed an amazing incident, in a class she sees each week, when a nearby silent student 
miraculously began to speak. speak. Hi, Emerson. Hi, Henrietta and Noah, all the way from the Netherlands. And a quick hello to Naomi Williams and her son, Noah. They'll have three books coming out soon. <clears throat> Days doubles as a watchdog, scares intruders with great fright. But like so many other dogs, her barks not like her bite. She attends the university where each student she observes is greeted by a tail wag as Daisy calms their nerves. After a late night in the library, they face the next day dragging, but seem to catch a second wind when Daisy's tail's wagging. I still haven't gotten that figured out. I go the wrong way. Everybody see, this is a, a canine university over here. Uh, one of my favorite pictures, Officer Daisy. We bring the people coloring pages Daisy looks on as they draw, as if she wants to color too, holding crayons with her paw. The men and women adorned in blue, like an officer Daisy's dressed, an honorary member of the force, providing comfort when they're stressed. When she first showed up in uniform, it was a rough day for the chief. It was um, met Daisy, his new officer, who gave them some relief. Glad you're enjoying this, Hudson. You're one of my favorites. She spends time at their open house, which really does amuse her, but there's nothing that she loves quite as much as sitting in their cruiser. Also visits firehouses, firefighters can't hide their elation. Though she cannot ride the fire trucks, has less spots than the Dalmatian. Hard to rhyme a word with Dalmatian. Let's see you guys try. <clears throat> I know nation, elation, vibration. Guess it's not that hard. On call by day and through the night with a heightened sense of urgency, ready to provide a dose of love in the event of an emergency. Days also loves the library where she sits in all her glory, listens as children read to her the words to every story. When Daisy loves not comforting, she's certainly not alone. In fact, there are some other dogs all chewing on their bones. Salvation, Naomi, you're right. You should write books. Oh, I got your book the other day. It's wonderful, by the way. I've started reading it. <clears throat> okay, look at all these dogs that Sandy has. And I think there's one missing, but the page was only so big. In all, the home has seven dogs with Daisy as the leader. Bo and Luke and Lola, too, all come from the same breeder. Julia Seven, look at you, vacation. You're constantly on vacation. You've got a husband who waits on your hand and foot. They're joined by Rocco and Lucy. They make our house a home. We'll introduce each one of you to finish off this poem. Who is that? Jonathan Pacheco. Hi, buddy. And Tyler Grady. No maple syrup in this poem. Ready? She's inseparable with Molly the rescue dog. You could tell the way she kissed her. It became known as her journey home. Turns out Molly is her sister. Good boy, Bo, our first cavalier, the oldest of the pack. He could not be a therapy dog, has stiffness in his back. Oh, Bella, Bella Yates, I believe, right? From all the way from Virginia. Is she with you, Yvette? Luke's a star on Instagram with tan and white flowing hair. He has never barked, strong, silent type. You'd hardly know he's there. Lucy surely barks a lot, but 
is in extraordinary health. She slinks around so cautiously, almost invisible like a stealth. Rocco's from Hawaii, was quite sick at his start. So filled with love and kindness, his head has got a heart. If you look at this dog, his head has a heart-shaped fur patch. Lola has unruly hair, the funniest by a mile. She loves to chew on everything and make all people smile. So if Daisy could, uh, here's our lesson. You remember every day Todd's book has a lesson. Now I just saw before we do the lesson, Bob Dumas just joined. If you guys need a used vehicle of high quality, check out Bob's, um, I can't think of the name of it. it begins with a C. So uh, check out Bob's vehicles. Okay. That was a commercial moment, I know. Bob's going to give me a free car in exchange for commercial endorsements. You ready? So if Daisy could speak in human talk, I'm sure she'd want to say, every day would be so awesome if each was a Daisy day. <clears throat> the name of this book, Naomi and everybody, is if every day was a daisy day. And I'm gonna give everybody a little secret. If you go to the Civin Media website, which is www.civinmediarelations.com, and you use coupon code NOCORONA, you'll save 19% on each book. So, there's, there's some hidden messages there. No Corona means we want this crap to go away as soon as possible. 19% off is because it's called COVID-19. So it's just a little uh, POW play on words that I did to save people some money, get you guys some books. Um, so that's going to conclude our visit for today. I'm going to be honest, this was one of my favorite largest audience we've seen. Um, the book is really awesome. I love the way the rhyming goes. And yes, I wrote it, but sometimes after I've written a book, I see what's been created, and I'm actually amazed at the words that come out. So I think I'm getting help from above. I don't think I'm doing it myself. Tomorrow's book, El Core Caminos, it comes in English and Spanish, but we are going to read it in English because on a Sunday morning, I mean, I'm fluent in Spanish. Just ask my employees. I know how to say pantalones and el perro, but um, I don't roll my tongue especially well. So, May May, how are you? And Rain Petruzzi every day um, has joined us and has uh, supported CMR with some book purchases. So anyhow, El Corre Caminos is the story of Father and son, uh, father pushes son in races, and then there's a brother involved too. So join us tomorrow at 10. Uh, we probably can't go to church, so maybe we'll throw in a uh, Hail Mary or something uh, while we're doing it, and um, everybody can feel good about what's going on. Um, so I wanna thank you. Um, we filled 20 minutes today. I'm gonna go take a shower and then a long walk six feet away from everybody. And then I'll see you tomorrow. All right, love you everybody. Mwah.